Hi, this is Jack at Jack's Transmissions. And when people talk about DCTs, dual clutch transmissions, they often say it's like having two transmissions in one. Well, that doesn't make any sense. What do they mean by that? Well, with a DCT, you have two different gear clusters. You have the even side, which in this GR6 is 246. And then you have an odd side, which is first reverse, third or fifth third. And the way this works is they're independent of each other. So as you can see here, 246 is one assembly. It's hollow in the middle. And the input shaft for the odd side runs through 246 to make this its own independent piece. So at the clutch, when we have the even side engaged and power is going through the input here in the even side, you can see the even 246 are moving independently of the odd side. When the clutch crosses over to the odd side, you can see the odd side here is moving independently of the even. And the magic behind that is, let's say you're in first gear and you're accelerating, 246 is just sitting there. It pre-selects second gear for you and has it ready to go. So all that has to happen with the trans when you hit that positive paddle is the clutch crosses over, the pressure crosses over, releases the odd clutch, and then engages the even clutch to transfer power into the next gear. And then the trans will go ahead and pre-select third gear while you're in second, have it ready to go. So again, it's just a transfer of power at the clutch from one gear to another. That's called a clutch crossover. And that's what makes DCT so blazingly fast on the shift. All of the mechanical work is done ahead of time. It's just the clutch crossing over from one, from one side gear cluster to another that makes it as amazing as it is.